Welcome to the EFS Modernization Training Video Series. This video will cover tracking SR attendance. We want to come here to the provider home screen, go to attendance, manage SR attendance. From there you will see the attendance roster generated for this month for the service period. You see the program type, which is SR. The service period is going to be for that current service period. The coalition and all the children that are on that provider's enrollment and attendance roster here. This is the basic view for this screen. In order to begin actually tracking attendance, you have to click on, you have to select the child's name from the, uh, from the roster and that is when you will see the calendar for that child populate with the X's and the units of care. So I'll take some time now to explain why this calendar looks the way it does. So from June 1st through June 5th, the child was not enrolled with the provider. So the days do not populate with, with an X or a unit of care. They populate as blanks. So no attendance can be tracked or unit of care can be put there on those days. You see here on the 5th that the child has a unit of care but no X or no, or no A or anything, anything for the day to be present. And that is because the child is only enrolled to attend at this provider on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So every other day of the week the child is not scheduled to attend, does not have a unit of care present. You may ask, well why are there X's on every day for the child? but the child is not scheduled to be there every day. And that's according to policy that the, the attendance calendar must populate with X's every day for a child. So it will, be, it will become the provider's responsibility on the days the child is not scheduled to attend. We'll go into that day and change that present to an enrolled non-reimbursable day for that child and then save. And I'll repeat this attendance tracking process for you again just to show you how, how that's done. So that is how you manage those days the child is not scheduled to attend. There is a future story to only populate the present days with the child's authorized care schedule, but that has not been put in at this time. It will be put in in the future. But for, for now, in order to properly track that child's attendance, every day that they're not scheduled to attend it needs to be changed to an N, not an A. When a child is enrolled with the provider, they will automatically appear on the enrollment roster. Even if the child is not scheduled to begin attending until a later date, the child will appear on the attendance roster, but the provider will not be able to begin marking attendance. The anticipated start date that is input by the coalition is the first day of attendance that can be marked for the child. Clicking on the child's name in the attendance roster will cause the calendar to display the child's attendance information. The child's authorized days of care and unit of care are displayed. These are the days and units of care the coalition has authorized for child care. The child's current information section displays the additional information about the child's enrollment and attendance, this section. So any absences that need to be marked for the child uh, this is the process of doing so. So if the child is scheduled to attend on Tuesday, June 12th, but for some reason is absent, the provider is able to click on the X and if they know the reason for the absence, let's say the parent called and the child is sick today, the provider selects child illness. If that parent brings in a document or emails the provider a document from a doctor, the provider can attach that document here and then save and then that absence appears on the attendance roster as an A. So once you have completed all of your attendance tracking for this child for the week or for the month and you are satisfied with the information that has been input, you save the changes. At the end of the month when it's time to submit these this attendance roster to the coalition for processing and reimbursement, before you submit it you can do a summary look at the screen to see uh, to see how many absences and just to see it by child the attendance that has been recorded. This summary view doesn't show any changes to the unit of care that will be updated in a future story but for now you can see the number of days present versus the number of days absent as here as shown here days absent days present for each child and if you want you can print this roster by clicking print. 